Hello everybody, welcome to Tony's thanks for joining me. I sent me back quickly, didn't I? For you, those of you who have just thought, those of you who just got this video, not the last one, that won't make any sense, but I've just reviewed another Aldi, Aldi one, the, the Lager. Uh, this one is, uh, again, Hot Foundry, which you know as um, Freedom Brewery. It's from Aldi, it is 4.2% ABV. It is a red ale and it costs me £1.69. Um, let's crack it open, shall we, see what we've got. Yeah, I didn't like the lager. What was that? Four percent. Well, just drank it, hadn't I? I can't slip as remember. Four percent. See it on the shelf there. Let's get this poured. Um, I like a good red ale. I have to say, I do like a good red ale. Uh, my expectations is that uh, it's got some nice toffee and caramel flavours in there. Let's get a bit of a head on this one. Maybe a bit of toast as well. Bit of it's really smooth with a dry finish they're the expectations of a red ale for me um, I'm gonna call that uh, clear and I'm gonna call it it's a, I'm gonna call it russet it's a dark russet color and a just off white head looks good didn't get any rumors on the pole but let's get the aroma shall we oh very mild I am getting sweet, a sweet malt. Maybe a little bit of earthiness from it. So we are getting there. Thought I might get a slightly roasted aroma, which I'm not. Mm. Yeah, no, not get. Honestly, I'm not getting a lot out of it. I'm just getting a little bit of sweet malt. A little bit of earthiness from the hops, and that's it. Uh, let's taste it, shall we? Cheers, everybody. Tastes better than it smells. Tastes much better when it smells. When it smells, than it smells. Mm. Flame wise, not too bad. Um, Flame wise, not too bad at all. It does fall on those. Uh, I am getting the sweet malt coming through, which is really nice. Um, yeah, you know, it is a bit caramelly, which I don't expect. So it'll score points from that perspective. A bit of earthiness coming through. Not getting that buttery note which I would like to normally get from a good red ale. But you've got to remember these people are selling this out at 169 uh, which isn't a lot of money. Isn't a lot of money. To, so to make this and to be able to pass it on, they must be, I would guess they're selling out to Aldi for a quid, somewhere around about a quid. That's going to be difficult to brew, although they'll brew a lot of it. Brew a very good beer for a quid. I don't have the overheads, and I'd I'd struggle to, to um, brew a beer like this for a quid. I am getting a very very slight roasty flavour to it. A little bit of earthiness from the hops. A little bit of gentle bitterness from the hops. It's not too bad. It's better than a lager. probably would buy this one again because it's it, it is quite nice it's nice there's a little bit of smoothness from it it is slightly dry it is it is easy drinking you 
know what? As red ales go, it's not too bad. Uh, full bodied red ale with dried fruit and malt flavours. I'm getting too much malt to taste any fruit. I get a little bit of earthiness from the hops. From the hops. And nothing apart from that. But it ticks a lot of the box I would expect from a red ale. Um, it is a little bit caramelly. Not a lot, but it is a little bit. Um, it is a little bit toasty in the back end. I'm expecting a lot, but a little bit more roastiness. I'm getting a bit, but I'd expect a little bit more. Um, not getting that fruitiness. Just really, it's just really sweet malt, which comes through a little bit caramelly. Not a lot, a little bit caramelly. Get a bit of earthiness from it. It's slightly dry. It's smooth. It's got, got that going for it. For it. It is slightly dry at the back end, but very easy drinking. It does feel quite rich as well. Um, in the in the mouth, it's, it's got a nice mouth feel to it. So yeah, not too bad on that one. Does not done too bad on that one. Score wise, I've just got it six and a half out of ten. Six and a half out of ten from Andy Beers. But if you are drinking tonight, you know, please enjoy it. If you enjoy the video, uh, like, share, comment. I love your comments, guys. Keep the comments coming in. Until the next review. Cheers, everybody.